Welcome to having coffee with Smog. Where's my coffee? Hmm. Anyways, uh, today we are talking about lighting. Surely you're aware that putting any long hours in front of the screen is a thing that drains your eyesight. And in order to be uh, productive and healthy, you need to have appropriate lighting that shines on your desk and gives you that support in order to match the surroundings with the light of the screen. This is BenQ Light. I've talked about it in one of the previous videos and it's good. It's, it's <laughs> this lamp is made by BenQ. It's great. It has all the features you might need. It has great lighting provides the light you know on your entire desktop and also has you know different modes so evening mode with more yellow light and the white light focus mode uh, for your day um, however the instructions for this thing say that in order to actually use it correctly, don't get the glare on your screen, you need to put it above your screen like that. And, you know, this could be a little bit of an issue if you're rocking a giant piece of uh, <laughs> screen surface like I do. Uh, and on top of that, things do change every now and then because I like to move this thing up and down, uh, you know, wave it around. Sometimes I will tilt it this way, the other way. So for this type of screen, a giant <laughs> bigger screen, what do you do? What do you do with, with this type of problem? Well, uh, I will move the screen away so it doesn't bother us as much. I'll move it this way. Go away, go this way, and I'll show you what I've gotten from BenQ in order to solve this problem. That's more like it, right? That's the thing. Screen bar e-reading lamp. Well, it's a thing that goes on your monitor over here and it shines on your desktop. So you don't have to, you know, do this weird thing. So I have to admit that I'm a little bit of a uh, gadget head myself and I love all the gadgets and things that you can get to improve your experience. Come closer. Better. You and I are going to take a look at it for the very first time together. So we have a piece of paper. That's very cool. It's USB power cables. That's nice. A little bit of USB wire. There's a clip. It's called a clip. Oh, can you see this? Right, and the lamp itself. So the lamp itself is, well, a thing. Oh, upside down. And there on the back, we have the instructions. So what do I do? What do I do here? I take this and I put it like that in here. Is that it? Do not put it sideways, just put it in and then lock it in place. The other way. Okay, you take this and this, you put them together like that and you twist. Okay, cool. Now it's locked. And there is the USB here. And I guess you put in power like that. I get in there. All right, this thing is in. Now I see why this thing is uh, in two pieces. How do I show you this? I can just grab it and adjust it. See, there is a little bit of play. Ah, 
Nice. I mean, it's just a light, right? But at the same time, it feels like this is so much of an upgrade compared to the previous light that I was using. Of course, uh, it has the same features, right? The temperature, uh, the dim uh, level of the light, and also automatic uh, adjustment of the uh, light level based on the surrounding uh, ambient light, right? So. The screen bar is more of a different form of the other lamp that I was using. So if you're thinking about, uh, you know, improving your workspace, fortifying it, getting it battle ready, uh, maybe think about something like this. Anyway, having a proper lighting will give you more quality time spent in front of the screen, either programming or playing Factorio like I do today. Oh yes. I almost forgot. So BenQ will give you 10% discount if you buy it during this weekend and on Monday as well. You can get 10% discount if you buy with the link provided below uh, in the description. So if you're interested, if you like this type of thing and you're just looking so for a cool gadget to enhance your workspace, this might be it. This might be your Black Friday catch. So don't hesitate and yeah, let me know what you think. Do you have a proper lighting setup for your desktop, for your workspace? Do you think it's important? Let me know. And that's all for today. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.